Hello, buddy. Isaiah Bless here, uh, the host of The New Me. Um, thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching these videos, guys. You have really blessed me. You have really been an encouragement in my life. I thank you so much. And like I always say, like this video, share it, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. So, thank you so much. I, my goal here is to really encourage you more to build your faith and light you ablaze by the Holy Ghost and show you the love of God, His true love, and really bless you on Monday and Wednesday. So, like I always say, like it, share it. And subscribe and watch this and be blessed. Today to another uh, new me episode. I pray you are having a blessed day so far. If you're not having a blessed day, this is going to bless you. Amen. Glory to his name. Um, I want to talk to you <clears throat> uh, today about uh, the new is here. The new is here. And... Um, who might be like, what does that mean? I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you about that, but I wanna to talk to you today about that subject. The new is here. So basically, this is my whole foundation why I started this live stream. This scripture in 2 Corinthians is the whole, is the whole foundation of this live stream why I started it. Because, well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You know what, let's read Psalm 71, and then I will explain to you why, you know, why I started this whole thing. Um, but this is for you as well. So. Watch this whole thing, share it with um, everybody you know, because this can be powerful today, amen? God's going to do amazing things this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Okay, so receive this for you. Receive this for your family. I declare this over your life, amen? Hallelujah. Okay. So it says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the mighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. My fortress, my God, and whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foul of snare, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor there that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague destroys at midday. Eight thousand may fall aside, ten thousand to right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe through eyes to see punishment of the wicked. Make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. And thus to come near your tent, for he will command his demons concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so you know, strike your foot against the stone, your tip, a lion, the cobra, your tempt the great lion, the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him, and honor him, and with long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Psalm 71. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Okay, so um so for Second Corinthians five seventeen, let's go there real quick. And guys put this drop this in my spirit. It's been a um a while, a few I wanna say a few weeks now. So I'm gonna obey and show this. Hallelujah. Okay, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Now I really want you to uh, grab. I really want you to receive this in your in your in your hearts and grasp this. You know, just take it in, because this is what he did for us. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, and the new is here. So you have to see yourself as a new creation in Christ Jesus, how he made you, a new creation. On that cross, everything, all the sin, he became sin 
for you. So everything, when he says, I know what you went through, if maybe you're going through depression or all these things, he knew it. Or maybe you were abused. The, I bet they, I, 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 you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay my opinion, but I know, I'm gonna say that right now, I know that they sodomized him, they raped him, and they did many explicit things to him, to Jesus. I know they did. But why? For you. For me. He didn't want you to go to a place called hell. He didn't want you to suffer. And the Bible actually stands for, I don't know if people really know this, but the Bible actually stands for basic instruction before leaving earth. That's what it stands for. Basic instruction before leaving earth. That's what it is. So before you leave this earth, you have to know that you know 100% in your heart that you are a child of the Most High God and you are saved and born again. You have to know that. So before you leave this earth, you have to know that. It's basic instruction. It's basic. It's simple. You do what he says, and you and you you stay away from um from the other stuff. It's very simple. But the whole thing, why why Second Corinthians five seventeen is the whole foundation of the of this whole channel of this why I started everything is because, and on August um sixth, twenty twenty one, when I came out of that water and I was baptized, when I came out of that water, that's what I heard. That's why I felt. That's why I really just heard my spirit, and I felt. When I was in that water, I felt um, just that pulling of the old man was pulled down and just was sunk under the water. And I never came back up. The new man of God emerged from those waters. And that's why I titled this whole channel, The New Me. The New You. Because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old is past. Let it be, let it be gone. Let it be destroyed. Let God just remove it from you permanently. I'm talking to you. There are so many in the body of Christ that I was guilty of this at first as well. But want to talk, want to go back, want to talk about the past. Oh, you know, if I just didn't do these things, where would I be now? You know what? It's over with. It's done. It's finished. Jesus, God already forgave you. Jesus already took that sin on the cross, so you don't have to bear it no more. And freedom lives in you. A new creation in Christ Jesus. So in Galatians 2.20, let's go there. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Okay. Galatians 2.20. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body. I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's love. I'm telling you right now, that's love. Who would do that? Who would give their only son for the whole world? Who would do that? Nobody. Nobody would do that. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't give your child to, for, for their sins, for this whole world. No. I would, in the future, if I, have, if I get married or I have kids or whatever, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't send my son to die for this whole world. I wouldn't. But Jesus knew that. That's why God sent his son. God knew it was going to happen. The first Adam failed. He knew that. He knew it was going to happen. The first Adam failed. That's why Jesus is called the last Adam. Because there doesn't, doesn't need to be another... Um, Sacrifice, a crucifixion, there's not even a sacrifice. Jesus did the ultimate price. He paid the ultimate price. He did it. It's done. And now me and you can become the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. Are you, are you listening to what I'm talking about today? I'm going to read this again. So put your name in there. So I'm going to put my name in there. You put your name in there as well. So Isaiah has been crucified with Christ and I know and I don't live I no longer live but Christ lives in me so I've been crucified with Christ the old man has been crucified with Christ so that man doesn't live no more I don't live no more but Christ lives in me 
The hope of glory lives in me, shines through me, speaks through me. That's why I love um, just talking to um, teenagers about Jesus. Yes, yeah, some blew me off and everything, but you know what? I love, I planted a seed. I planted a seed, and every night, I, I, always, I always pray that, that you, they, God will speak to them. I pray for those teenagers. I pray for them. Because I want them to have an encounter with God. I want them to be truly, radically set free. And I stay in touch with them. You know, I, I check how they are and everything. I pray for them, over them and everything. Whatever they need, you know, whatever help they need. Um, but it's so important to be in the Word of God, yes. But you have to be a man and woman of prayer. I'm going to say that again. You have to be a man and woman of prayer. That's intimacy. Into me see. Because God comes in and He wants to see what's inside of you. The heart. The heart. Burn out all the junk. Burn out all the carnal things. The reason why God wants to do a work in us is so He can make room for that anointing. To get out all that debris, all that garbage, all that junk. He doesn't want it there. And I don't want it there either. That's why I always say every night when I pray, God, do a work in me. Just, just burn out all the carnal things of man. I don't want that. Burn it out of me. And you will do it. And I just stay right there. And then just stay in his presence. And I just wait. It's so important. I wait on God. It's so important to wait on God. Get on your face before God. You cry out to Abba. And you say, God, I can't do it without you. My life is useless without you. I need you in my life. That void was put there for a reason. Drugs can't fill it. Sex can't fill it. Alcohol can't fill it. None of these worldly things can fill it. Only God can fill that void in your heart today. That's it. That's it. That's really it. And that's why I started this whole live stream. Because that's what I heard. The new man of God emerged from those waters. And I've been doing this since 2021. And it's been an honor to serve God it's been an honor to come on these live streams, to come on the um, the reels, the little short videos, and everything. Tell people about Jesus, that He loves them, He values them, and He cares about them. You know that really touches people. Just just saying that you are valuable to God, you are valued by God. You matter. You are cherished. You are cared for. He loves you. He breathed the ruach of God into you, the breath of life. And he just sculpted you, he created you. He knew you before he placed you in your mother's womb. He knew you. You are meant for greater things, my dear friends. You are meant for greater things. Not to be a doormat for somebody, not to be living under somebody who's, who's rude to you, who's all these things, and not to take all this abuse. God wants you to step out and to step into another realm with Him. He wants you to live on that path of victory, to step out and say, Hey, has anybody ever told you about Jesus? That He loves you, that He cares about you? What? And you step boldly out. That's what I did. I mean, the boldness of God, the courage of God. It was the only, it was only by God that, that I told people about Jesus at my high school that I um, went to. It was only by God. Because I was like, God, if you don't give me the boldness, if you don't give me the love and courage, I cannot do this. I can't. If you don't give me that boldness, that courage, I can't do it. And he did. He placed that inside me. But what I really wanted to and I cried out for it, was his love. And man, when he just, man, it hit me like a freight train. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, that was powerful. January 6th, January, I'm sorry, January 2nd. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Um, isn't, he, isn't he so good? I mean, he's absolutely good. That he would take all that sin 
for you, for me. So we don't have to bear. That's love. You can deny it all you want, but one day you will stand before him and every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess, will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's the glory of God the Father. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So why don't you just make this easy and give your life to Jesus today. Don't make it difficult. He wants intimacy. When I talk about religion, he wants intimacy with you. He longs for you. He cherishes you. He values you. You are important to God. He created you. That's why the enemy fights you so much on your identity. Because that's what that's what he um he did to Jesus. But it was after, actually, it was after the 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and prayer. People get this wrong. It was after that fasting and prayer that he tempted Jesus. See, the devil can't tempt you when you're fasting and prayer and fasting and praying. Because you are in that secure bubble. You are safe. His angels are secure. The God's angels are secure around you. So you can't be attacked by the enemy when you're fasting and praying. So Jesus wasn't attacked when he was fasting and praying by the devil. He was it was after he came out fasting and prayer. That's when the enemy tempted him. People get that wrong. So it was after. But he, he did have his identity. He did his identity. The devil knows the Bible. The devil knows the word of God. But when you pray, I'm telling you, in those heavenly tongues, oh, something stirs up in the atmosphere. And everything begins to change. And it's just you and God. And you just dance with him. You just love on him. It's just you and him. And you just say, God, I'm pouring out my love on you. I'm just going to lavish my love on you, God. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think. But it's going to be you and me. It's going to be you and me conquering this world together. We are victorious. You, are, you live inside of me. You live in me. And you love me. You value me. You cherish me. You purchased me. I am bought. I am branded by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I can never get that brand out of me. I can't. You're branded. Whatever, if you say you're Catholic or, or Buddhist or whatever, doesn't matter. You're branded before you were born. You were branded before you were born. He put that brand on the inside of you. When he created you, he formed you. He, he, he sculpted you and he took out the extra pieces, but he branded you that you are purchased by Jesus. You are purchased. You are bought and paid for. It's sealed. And you can never get that off. You can never get it off. No matter what you do, no matter what you do out there in the world, whatever. That's why the enemy attacks the identity of this generation now. He's done it for years. But it's more stronger than now because he does not want you to find out who you are. And when you do, man, the enemy gets so mad because he knows you're going to wreak havoc on, on hell. You're going to bring so many souls into the kingdom of God. And what is the enemy so afraid of that he's trying to stop you from getting to your destiny? Trying to find out your identity. What is he so, what is he so afraid of? Why? Does he hate it so much? He's scared. He doesn't want you to find out who you are. When you do, it's over, baby. It's over. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, every single person, on the sound of my voice right now, that's watching this or is going to watch later, I break the stronghold, the blinders from the enemy right now. I break it and I loose it from your life in Jesus' name. No longer you be, you be bound by this demonic attack, by these demonic spirits. No longer you be struggling. You have fe you, no longer you have fear, worries, doubts. You will no longer have anxiety or toss and turn in the night hours on your bed. You will have sweet peace in Jesus' name peace the presence of almighty god el shaddai hallelujah elohim jehovah rafa abba father oh shakambresan de lemon sokai 
Thank you, Jesus. The identity is found in you, Father God. We break the power of the enemy off them right now. Break it right now. Break it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was going to talk about something else, but you know what? Just lift those hands right now. Just lift those hands. And if you are not saved, say this prayer after me. And you will be saved. He calls you. Do you hear it? He calls you. He calls you this day. Just come back to me. Come back to me, my child. Come back to me. I miss you. I long for our relationship together. I miss that relationship. I miss the intimacy that we once had. Come back to me. It's not too late. I'll dust you off. I love you. I value you. Come back to me. Yes. Say this after me. Dear Lord Jesus, Come into my heart. Forgive me my sin. Wash me. Cleanse me. Set me free. And Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead and you come back in for me. Fill me with Holy Spirit. Give me passion for the lost and hunger for things of God and holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. We seal this now, God, by your blood, by your spirit, God. Hallelujah. And I'm for you. Father, Father God, thank you. But that, that is sealed. They are marked for eternity. That on that day, Lord, they stand before you. Not one we're missing, God. Raise them up in a powerful way, God. Impact generation, big every demonic attack. Break it right now. Break it off your life right now. Break it. It's loosed from you. And the peace of God floods you. The presence of Almighty God. The Ruach of God. The Mashiach of God. The Sambre Kabrosta Kambrasvia. Zibrando Yababandia. The presence, the peace. No more anxiety. No more fear that's broken right now. Broken right now in Jesus' name. Broken. Peace of Almighty God should be upon you forever and ever. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <sighs> Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not plan this. I didn't, I didn't plan nothing. I, I didn't rehearse nothing. This is, this, <laughs> this is all God. Praise you, Father. Glory to your name, Abba. Glory to your name, Father. Oh, Shaya Mambaya Baba Ndelemo So Katatala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, like it, share it, comment, and do whatever you have to do to get the word out. Share this with somebody. I want to be blessing to God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray this really spoke to your spirits. I pray this blessed you. I'm telling you. It blessed me. I don't know if it's blessed you, but man, this is this blessed me. I'm telling you. The love of God, man, overwhelms me. And it's baptism of fire right there. I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go. You guys live this day in spiritual victory. And uh, conquer this day with God, okay? So guys, I love you. God loves you. God bless you and live this day in spiritual victory. I will see you guys next time. God bless you.